How's it going, fellow club members? This is Leo Damascus with the Steam Controller Fan Club, and today I am going to be showing you how I play MOBAs with the Steam Controller. Before getting into the meat of this video, I want to address why I'm using Heroes of the Storm rather than Dota 2. As you can see, I do have a Steam Controller connected, and I am using it to interact with Big Picture Mode, but you'll see the Steam Controller preferences aren't coming up on Dota 2. So that's not a game that I can actually show you this with. So instead, let's go look at Heroes of the Storm. Let's pull it up here. There we go. So if we look at the controller configuration, you'll see that I have it separated into two different things, main skills and chat. So the main skills that I have are on the analog stick. I have the numbers for the top six skills, including number six all, all the way up here, although that one's the one that is most rarely used. Um, on the right trackpad, you'll see I have an invisible radial menu. And the way that that's set, set up, it's designed so that I press uh, Q on this side, W, E, R. So going counterclockwise, starting at the left, it's going to, to go through all of your major skills in order with your trait up on the, on the right bumper there. And it does work just as well if you use the directional pad. So feel free to do that if you're having trouble setting up the, the radial, radial menu or if you're having any sort of issues with it slowing down your game. I'm using the radial menu just because I want to have that attack command on the center. But for the most part, what, what you're going to be doing is depending on the mouse attached to the gyro. I have it set to right pad touch so that only when you're trying to enable a command is the mouse going to be moved. And that's pretty much the, the basics of it. I, I, of course, have the camera controls set to the touch pad so that I can move around the map easily enough. Um, Getting onto your mounts and warping back to base on Y and B, since those are the ones that are closest to the right touchpad, it helps you access those scales quickly in a pinch to put them there as opposed to either of the other ones. And of course, I can ping anywhere on the map by pressing the A button once I get the, get the mouse there. And the, the chat is also important since it is a team game. I have a couple of emotes in here, but also yes or no to answer questions, uh, call for help or, or healing, as well as information on the analog stick for whether you want to uh, push or, or go to a lane so that you can decide more quickly with your teammates who gets uh, spread into what. And that's the basics of it. Let's go ahead and open Heroes of the Storm and I'll show you how well it works. So if you can see what's going on here, I am controlling the mouse entirely with the gyro. It responds to my subtle wrist movements when I'm holding down on the right touchpad. But I can also recenter it by pulling my, my hand off in order to um, get a whole range of movement. So. What that's going to be more important for is the twitchy moments in-game. So we're going to do an AI match just to get into the game a lot quicker. But we'll show you how this configuration works in-game. Alright, so now we're in the game. First thing you'll notice is that I have the right click set to... to click quickly so that I can get a visual representation of where we're going and I can do a little dance just by pressing X and Y at the same time. I have Y and B of course mapped to the mount and the hearthstone to give them fast access 
And you can see me following around the visual representation there. If I hold in the left trigger, the ca character just goes wherever the mouse cursor goes. And since the mouse cursor is mapped to the... to the... gyro, I, I'm able to have some very pinpoint aiming so that I can like throw lobs there and it can be done fairly quickly. So, like, I'm not even really thinking about the way that I'm moving around, and so I can just focus on on moving and getting my person into the into the right position. Uh, another benefit of this control scheme is that because I have the camera mapped to the left trackpad and the mouse cursor mapped to the gyro as well as the attacks to my right thumb, I'm able to access all three at once, moving the camera around with full access to the mouse cursor on the screen and with full access to the commands, which is something that I personally find kind of difficult with the keyboard and mouse. So it's something that I appreciate having access to on the Steam controller. Now this is a bit of a post-commentary. My first recording actually messed up and so I just recorded a session against beginner bots to allow myself to slow down so that I could show you a bit better than the, the lost veteran bot one, how exactly I can move the controls around. Um, there's one more thing that I'm going to want to show you other than just that I can pull up the menu and click that or use the analog stick to choose them by numbers. But other than that, pretty soon here I'm going to wind up kind of low on health because I wandered a little bit too close to that tower there and just refused to stop getting hit and this Lucio decided to follow me a bit too closely. So you're going to see, if you pay attention to the controller video there, that hearthing back is as simple as just moving my thumb a little bit down to press that B button. And then I go back and then this demo is done. So we'll see you guys in the next club meeting. Click in to return to there. And that's it. Take care. This is Leo Damascus signing off for now.